So now let us see properties of broadside array for an element. So let us see first one is major flow. Major low. So uh, we get major low when psi is equal to zero. Okay, so I will get major loop when psi is equal to zero, means when the phase difference is zero. When psi is equal to zero, we get major loop. So, what is the expression for psi? Psi is equal to theta d cos plus alpha. So, very, very important. Uh, <coughs> phase difference psi is equal to theta d cos theta or cos phi plus alpha. This is this this phase difference is due to this phase difference is due to phase difference is due to separation separation and this uh, this phase difference is due to excitation this phase difference is due to excitation. So, in a broadside array, in a broadside array, all the elements are fed with the same phase. Okay. So, see here, for example, let us take uh, these are two different three antennas are there. Here in broadside array, all the antennas are fed with the same phase. Same phase. So, there is no uh, in, in a broadside array, in a broadside array, in a broadside array. Alpha is equal to zero. Why it is zero? Because all the elements are fed with the same phase. All the elements are fed with the same phase. Okay. So that's why there is no problem. So alpha is equal to zero. Alpha is equal to zero. So in a broadside array, alpha is equal to zero since all the elements are fed with same phase. So, what is the value of psi in a broadside area? Psi is equal to theta t cos theta or cos phi, which is due to separation. Okay. So, if two elements are, let us consider this is one element and this is considered one element. Okay. So, this is your point of point of observation. Field. This is A1 and A2. Which signal will reach the point P first? Note out A, A2 signal will reach first. How much extra distance that should be traveled by A1 when compared to A2? So that is that is nothing but if we take like this. Okay, so this is the extra distance is this one. This is T cos theta. Okay, so this is due to separation. This uh, uh, this phase shift, uh, this phase difference is due to so psi is equal to phase difference is equal to one phase difference is due to separation. Another one alpha is due to excitation. Another one is excitation. So in a broadside array, in a broadside array, since all the elements are fed with the same phase, okay, so there is no phase difference change. So that's why alpha is equal to zero. So in a broadside array, the Phase difference is equal to beta d cos alpha. Okay. So the condition is psi should be equal to 0 for getting the major loop. So psi is equal to 0 means in a broadside array, beta d cos theta max r is equal to 0. Okay. So means nothing but cos theta max is equal to 0 or Phi max for what values we get for uh, zero for uh, in terms of cos in term, we get for ninety degrees and two centigrade. So okay, so phi max is equal to the maximum radiation in a broadside area. We get for ninety degrees and two centigrade in an n element linear element linear. So this is the first property that is major. The first property that is major. Okay, let us go to the second property. The second property is magnitude of second property that is magnitude of major. Magnitude of major. So next one is magnitude of measure. So the condition 
what is the expression we have got t is equal to e naught into mod t is e naught into sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2. So magnitude means t by e naught mod is equal to sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2. So the condition is condition is psi is equal to 0. If you substitute psi is equal to 0, what is the value? Et by E naught, you get 0 by 0, which is indeterminate form. Whenever there is indeterminate form, we want to apply L hospital. We want to apply L hospital. So what is the L hospital group? Et by E naught is equal to limit psi tends to 0, e by 2 psi r, sin, n psi by 2 by 2 by 2 psi r, sin, psi by 2. So, limit psi tends to 0 to the differentiation, we will get um, n by 2 cos n psi by 2 by 1 by 2 cos psi by 2. So, this I will get cancelled and I am substituting psi is equal to g. So, so, cos 0 means 1. Therefore, very, very important one, e t by e naught is equal to. So, what is this n? And the magnitude of major group is equal to n. Means where n is number of units in the air. Where n is, where n is number of elements in the air. Where n is number of elements in the air. Okay. So, this is the second point magnitude of major group. Okay. So let us go to the third point that is mass. Okay, I have already told what is meant by enough. If you take any radiation pattern, if you take like this. Okay, so this is my first enough. What is meant by enough? Enough is the angle where we don't find any radiation. In this direction, we are having radiation, but in this direction, we are not having any radiation direction of not having any radiation. So, none means where we don't find any radiation. So, the condition for obtaining none is the condition for obtaining none is sin of n psi by 2 by sin of psi by 2 should be equal to Zero. Okay. So if I want to satisfy this equation compulsorily, sin of psi by 2 should not be equal to 0. If sin psi by 2 is equal to 0, 1 by something by 0 is nothing but uh, infinity. Okay. So compulsorily, what is the only chance? Okay. So the only chance is sin n psi by 2 should be equal to 0. Okay. So applying sin n of some two sides. Applying sin inverse on both sides. Applying sin inverse on both sides. What we will get here? Mm, n psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus n by area is equal to 1, 2, 3. Area is equal to 1, 2, 3. We are not taking uh, m is equal to 0. If you take m is equal to 0, m is equal to 0, not constant, because we are getting the maximum <coughs> radiation. So, n psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. So, n into what is the value of psi? Theta t cos pi null. Cos pi, we call it as cos pi or uh, minimum cos pi minimum. Psi is equal to pi 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. <coughs> Okay, so what is the value of beta? Beta value is again 2 pi by lambda. Okay, so right here n into beta d cos phi minimum by 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. We know that beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda, therefore n into 2 
pi by lambda into d into cos phi minimum phi 2 is equal to plus or minus m pi. Plus or minus m pi. Okay, so 2 to get uh, cancel. Pi pi will also get uh, cancel. Okay. <coughs> From this, cos phi minimum is equal to now plus or minus m lambda by n plus or minus m lambda by n <coughs> Therefore, what is the expression for the pi minimum? Pi minimum is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus m lambda by n d per m is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on. Okay. So, what are this, what are uh, so, for m is equal to 1, we will get first number. For m is equal to 2, we will get the second number. For m is equal to 3, we will get the third number. Means, for example, let us see here. here. That's one. This is my major blow. So, for m is equal to 1, I will get the first number. This is for m is equal to 1. Similarly, this is for m is equal to this is for m is equal to 2. So this is very, very important for calculating the minimum nulls. Nulls in a broadside array, the condition is phi minimum is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus m lambda by n. What are the different values here? Where, what is this here? n means number of elements in the array. n indicates number of elements in the array. And what is this d? d is spacing between the elements. d is spacing between the elements. Spacing between the Elements. Okay, what is this lambda? Lambda is real length and m is integer value. The range is from range is from to so okay. So this is the third parameter. Okay, so first parameter is major load, second parameter is magnitude of major load, third parameter is null. Okay, third parameter is null. Right. Then now we will go for fourth parameter. The fourth parameter will go for side loops. Side loops. We go for side loops. Okay. Uh, the condition for the condition for Side loops is so side loops is what is meant by the side loops? Hmm. So this is the major loop and remaining all are side loops. This is major loop and remaining these are all this is first side loop. These two are first side loops, these are second side loops, these are third side loops. Okay. Now what is the expression? In major loop also we have radiation. Maximum radiation is around major loop. In side loops also we have some radiation. Okay. So the condition for the side loops is the condition for the side loops is sine n psi by 2 pi <coughs> sine n psi by 2 should be equal to plus or minus 1 sine n psi by 2. So therefore n psi by 2 is equal to applying sign in or some both sides. On both sides, we get n psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus m plus 1 pi by 2, where m is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Why are not taking m is equal to 0? If we take m is equal to 0, we we'll get a major term. Okay, but we want only the side loops except the major loop, all the remaining loops are called as side loops. Okay, so that's why we are not considering the m is equal to zero case. That's why you are not considering the 
m is equal to 0, yes. Okay. So, n psi by 2 is equal to plus or minus 2m plus one. So, n into, what is the value of psi? Theta e cos theta, cos theta cos phi psi groups phi 2 is equal to plus or minus 2m plus 1 phi by 2. What is the value of theta? Theta is equal to 2 pi by lambda. So, n into 2 pi by lambda into theta into cos of phi psi groups phi 2 is equal to plus or minus 2 m plus 1 pi by 2. Okay, so 2 to get cancel, pi by you get the cancel. Okay, so finally, what is the value of cos phi psi groups equal to plus or minus lambda into 2m plus 1 by 2m. Okay, so next from this, now what is the value of phi of psi groups is equal to phi of psi groups is equal to cos inverse of hmm, 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2 and 3. Okay, so this is the expression where the value of m is equal to 1, 2, 3. Here m is equal to 0 is not considered because we are getting major. So 0 is not considered because we are getting major load. Major log per m is equal to zero. So, what is the form of our uh, side loops for a broad side array? The expression is possible. These expressions are very, very important while you are deriving the form of m plus 1 lambda by 2m. 2m plus 1 lambda by 2m. This is the expression crossing us into plus or minus. Here we have plus or minus. Okay, so this is plus or minus plus one by two. So this is the fourth. This is the fourth parameter. Okay, now let us go for the fifth parameter. Now let us go for the fifth parameter that is P with the major. Beam with the major loop is nothing but beam with between first now. Beam with the major loop. So, what is meant by the beam with the major loop? Let us take, let us take this diagram. Okay, so beam with means this is the first now. This is the first one. Whatever the angle subtended between the two nums, this is nothing but beam width between first one. Okay. So this can be considered as like this. This can be considered as like this. Okay, for example, if you take like this. Can we, for example, the same thing here? This is called as this total angle is nothing but beam um, width. For example, this is gamma. Beam width between first nums is equal to 2 of gamma. So, how can I write this gamma? This is nothing but what is this one? This is phi v naught. Okay. So, this is gamma. So, beam width is total, beam width is to gamma. Okay. So, how can you define the beam with the, the definition of the beam with this? The beam with is defined as the angle between angle between first 
or it is also the angle equal to or angle equal to why is the angle between angle equal to why is the angle between first null and major loop maximum direction major loop maximum direction okay so this is the major loop maximum direction this is our major loop maximum so this angle okay i can add dash b with is equal to theta okay so in this figure so see here let us see here this is the uh, diagram okay Okay, so for example, let's take here. This is the maximum direction. Okay, this total angle is 90 degrees. Total angle is 90 degrees. So this is our first null. So we we'll call it as by minimum. And this is gamma. Okay. So what is the total half power we with gamma plus gamma that is Two gamma, but from that figure, on figure, on figure, you can write as gamma is but how can you write this gamma? Pot angle is 90 degrees. Pot angle is 90 degrees. So gamma I can write it as 90 minus 5 minimum. From this, 5 minimum is equal to 90 minus gamma. What is this 5 minimum? 5 minimum means first null. First null. Already you have derived the expression for null. Okay, so five minimum. Okay. So what is the formula for the uh, null? So cos five minimum is equal to plus or minus m lambda by n. Cos five minimum is equal to plus or minus m uh, m lambda by n. Okay. So here I am applying cos on both sides. Okay, so uh, so the expression for pi minimum, the expression for pi minimum is what is the expression for pi minimum? Cos inverse of plus or minus m lambda by n d is equal to 90 minus. Uh, okay, okay, apply cos on both sides. Applying cos on both sides. Applying cos on both sides. Okay, so if I apply cos on both sides, what I will get here? Hmm. Plus or minus m lambda by n is equal to cos of 90 minus gamma. Cos of 90 minus gamma is nothing but sin gamma. Okay, so therefore sin gamma is equal to plus or minus m lambda by n d. Okay, for example, for uh, for first null, for first null, m value is equal to one. For the first null, m value is equal to one. Therefore, sine gamma is equal to plus or minus lambda by n t. Okay. So, since for example, if gamma is very very small. Okay. Why gamma is very very small? N for example, n uh, here. Uh, uh, n, for example, let us consider n, there are some uh, one lakh elements are there, or thousand elements are there. So, some x component by uh, so many elements. Okay, this value will become zero. Okay, so what is the value of sine zero? Sine zero value is zero. Means, whenever the value of this is very small, this value also becomes the same. Okay, so here m is very, since n is very, very high, Okay, n is very, very high, uh, means if n is very, very large, okay, so the gamma value will becomes very, very small. Okay, so in this case, gamma is equal to, I can write it as plus or minus lambda by n. Okay, so what is this n? n is number of elements in the array. And it is separation distance. T is 
separation distance. It is separation distance. So, with the expression of gamma, gamma is equal to plus or minus lambda by m. For example, if uh, three elements are there, if three elements are there, one, two, three, and each element is separated by distance d. Okay. Each element is separated. Then, generally, length of array, the length of array formula is n minus 1 into d. So, here total number of elements are d minus 1 into d, that is 2. Okay. So, if the length of, uh, if, if n is very less, but if there are n elements are there, but if there are n elements are there, n elements are there, length of the array, I can write it as, instead of n minus 1 into d, it can be written as nd. This is applicable only when n is very very large. Okay, what is this L? L stands for length of the array. What is the formula for the length of the array? Length of the form array is equal to, L is equal to N minus 1 into T. Okay, so for example, here three elements are there. T minus 1 into T, that is the length of the array is 2D. This is applicable as an original formula is N minus 1 into T. But if the value of N is very, very high, Okay, for example, 1 crore or 10 lakhs are there. 10 lakhs minus 1 is same as 10 lakhs. Okay, so L is equal to N minus 1D can be replaced with L is, L is equal to ND when N is very plus. So in the place of ND, I can replace with, I can replace with L. Therefore, gamma is equal to plus or minus lambda by L where L is equal to N D. What is called this L? L is called as length of array. L is called as length of array. Okay, so that is in terms of radius. Okay, so gamma is equal to plus or minus lambda by L radius. L is equal to plus or minus lambda by L radius. Okay, so what is the, what is the final, what is your expression? You want to calculate the beam width. So, what is the formula for the beam width? It is 2 times of gamma. It is 2 times of gamma. So, gamma is equal to lambda by L. So, beam width between first nulls is equal to 2 gamma. That is equal to plus or minus 2 lambda by L radians. Okay. So, if I want to convert into degrees, what is the relationship between one uh, radians and degrees? One radian is equal to 180 by pi. Already we have discussed this. Degrees. Therefore, beam width between first nulls in degrees is equal to plus or minus 2 lambda by L into 180 by pi. 180 by pi. Okay. So, 180 by pi means this is nothing but 57.3 degrees. 180 by pi means 57.3 degrees. Therefore, beam width between first nulls, beam width between First nulls is equal to 2 into 57.3 by general form by is lambda by lambda by L. Okay. So that is in with between first nulls is equal to 114.6. Instead of lambda by L, I am writing it as L by lambda decrease. This is in terms of degrees. Okay. So, what is the other formula in terms of radians? This that is equal to 2 into lambda by L radians. These formulas are very, very important while we are solving in the problem. Okay. So, you have calculated beam width between first now. Now, we will calculate half power beam width. Half power beam width. So, how to calculate half power beam width? There is a relationship between uh, half power beam width. This is half power beam width. Okay. So, the half power beam width is equal to beam width between first nulls by 2. Therefore, half power beam width for a broadside array is equal to. What is the beam width between first null? Beam width between first null is 